Thank you for joining me, Steve Harvey, and all of us tonight on the 2018 Real Artists Reunion. It's been a crazy year with our favorite historic idols. After this season, some of us Real Artists of Europe and a special guest from the Real Artists of the Ancient Greece have a lot to say. Let's begin. Please, guests, introduce yourselves. Yes, it is I, the genius who began the use of oil paint, the artist with the best symbolic word to paint of the glorious, mysterious Arnolfini wedding portrait. And I, painter of most gorgeous Venus of Urbino. And I, your favorite man, painter and distortionist of goldfish. We seem to be missing someone. And I apologize for being late. I was at the Olive Garden and I ordered contra pasta. They were taking too long. So guess, what will be our first order of business? Let's talk about that elephant in the room. The Akka mask. I did not know we were having guests from Cameroon. <laughs> Very funny. No, we all know why we're here today. It's a matter of this year's AP Art History exam. Right. Oh yes, every year prior, Dory Furrows appears in all this glory to be discussed on the exam. Me as well, but this year the significance of the Arnolfini symbolism seemed not to matter one bit. And though I did not appear, my followers did. Olympia was seen by much more sophisticated Venus could not be found. I've always found my style to be quite unique, but clearly the college board thought not this year. And I can only imagine the frustration. And do you think your replacements are worthy of their mentions? Absolutely, Absolutely not. not. What? I'm sure you would all have a lot to say if you could see one now. But of course. Of course. Of course. Yes. If you are all so sure, Guest, please introduce yourself. Hello, it's me, Mariko. Since all of you wanted Mori of me, not sure if you all knew, but my piece, Pure Life, started in a three question series on this year's exam. Modern art seems to be coming into a trend. Does the M in modern stand for mediocre? Or is it the M in Mariko that stands for mad ugly? Guest, please settle down. While I don't intend to insult your work, I do feel like three questions for digitally generated work was excessive. It seems as the skill once accompanied with the title of artist has dwindled. I could agree, but technology brings new mediums and possibilities to art. I doubt any of you will be able to replicate Pure Life. It took me a very long time for my fauvist companions and I to be respected by the community. But still, I exerted physical skill and technique into my work. Tell us, Mariko, did you design any of the pieces you used in your artwork? I'd rather not talk about how I did it. I would reveal my secret. And folks, the secret, perhaps, is that you did not do anything special at all. Just as I suspected. <laughs> My piece actually has great meaning behind it. I don't believe the Arnolfini portrait has truly been deciphered. Perhaps because your painting has no true meaning to be discovered. Well, I must agree with you, Mariko. I'll take care of your Yeah, and I admire your use of new medium, but the piece seems far too abstract to have significance. Whose side are you on, Polyclitos? Oh, how the tables have turned. It seems that Jan van Eyck we do not like. Turn they have indeed. If you were so fast to turn on an old friend, you may find flaws in every other artist here. Well, I did develop the most perfect version of the human form. Can I you blame me? We are getting too feisty. The real matter is what our lack of representation on the exam. The real artist, trademark, is a growing franchise, and Europe was one of the first focus groups. And every year, we've been the stars of the show. Students all around the country study our techniques and our stories. Perhaps the college board has become bored of these stories. <laughs> Though it often does, history should not repeat itself. Art should not repeat itself either. What use does the application of outdated work have when implemented in today's society? It seems ironic you would say that. For the for I was first to accurately present the human form. I was first to expose a woman's sensuality and to directly address the viewer with her gaze. I was the first to use oil paint and one of the only artists to sign my name. And I began a movement so different that I was called a wild beast. If you consider your art revolutionary, I believe that revolution has already been executed many times. Consider yourself history as it seems to be repeating. I think this is a good time to end our discussion. In conclusion, the College Board is losing their good taste. Marico's technologic nightmare could never challenge our skills. And our excellence should be expected in the next year exam, or the quality of art history will never be the same. Thank you all for watching. Catch us next time when we interview Barack Obama.